Hey y'all, welcome back to Venturing with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I, what is this, what is this? Y'all, I'm getting a pimple. I'm, I'm channeling my inner Wicked Witch of the West because I'm like so ready for fall. What is this? That's terrible. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm driving the hot mess express today. So don't judge me and my beautiful hair and everything that's going on behind me. I've got my set power fridge running behind me. I got all my van stuff <laughs> sitting behind me that I've taken inside because it's extremely hot here in Arizona. We're about 114 every single day, which means most of the stuff inside my van is inside my house in the air conditioning because I don't want everything sitting in that extreme heat. So, uh, pimple hair and van stuff aside, I was just inspired because I'm sitting at my desk in my home office and I was eating some breakfast and drinking my coffee and I was like, you know what, I'm going to catch up on some of the van life YouTubers that I follow. And back when I started van life in 2020, I followed a ton of van lifers on YouTube. That list has slowly dwindled down because I started following a bunch of people so I could learn but now that I've been doing this for three years, I'm not really learning anymore. I just follow people uh, who inspire me, live similar lifestyles as I do, um, and just people that I simply enjoy watching. Um, of course, Maddie Van Halen, I still watch, you know, Cheap RV Living, Bob Wells. Uh, he's the end all be all of my inspiration, really. And I learn so much from his channel still, which is really cool. Um, Chantel, My Basic Journey, Bunny, Bunny Plays Here, uh, RV Jedi. So just very few channels, a handful of channels really that I, that I keep up with uh, these days. But I was watching Riley from Riley Does Life this morning and her uh, most recent video about how she's quitting van life for now. And so much of what she said really resonated with me. Uh, she started van life about two years ago. She was living in her SUV and uh, with a little dog, kind of reminds me of Winston. And she made some really good points about how, you know, when she started life in a vehicle, she was just like, go, go, go. She was moving so fast. She was going from one place to another, staying somewhere for a night or two and then moving. And I, I did the same thing. But... The entire three years I've been doing van life, I've always maintained a home base. So even though I was go, go, go traveling, I went around the country three times in the last three years with Winston, um, I always had a home base to come back to. And that has been extremely valuable for me in my balance of traveling and stability. I am the type of person who really thrives on stability and routine, but at the same time, I'm incredibly adventurous and I like to be on the go. So when I started doing van life, I'd go somewhere for like two or three nights and then I'd go back home and then two or three nights and then I'd maybe stay out for five nights or six nights and then come back home. Maybe I'd do a big trip for six weeks and then go back home for two months. Um, I was trying to kind of get all this traveling under my belt because I felt like that's what I needed to do as a van lifer. And I'm so glad I did it because I, I had so much fun. I've made so many fun memories with Winston. But in this last year, and Riley kind of touches on this too, um, I really got travel burnout. I just got burned out of traveling. Like, I got tired of... Um, having to find, you know, a place to park in the Midwest or having to pay for campgrounds in the Midwest or having to sleep at a truck stop, uh, worrying about the weather, the ever-changing weather throughout the country. Um, I just got burnt out, you know, putting fuel in my tank, spending money on that, putting miles on the van. I, it's really easy to get burnt out. But I always knew in the back of my head that I had a home base I could go back to if absolutely necessary. And I was even on a trip uh, once and I got up to Salt Lake, U uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, and I was like, my anxiety is so bad, I need to go home. And I had that option. So I went home. And um, from the very beginning, and 
I so Bob Wells interviewed me on his channel Cheap RV Living back in March of 2021. The interview was published that December. His interviews are always like six to eight months behind. Um, but in that interview, I talked about, you know, maintaining that home base. And Bob agreed with me that so many people think when they start van life that they have to just like jump in feet first and just get rid of a home base, whether that's an apartment or a house or you're living with family or whatever, you have to get rid of it and everything has to go into vehicle living. And that's just simply not true. You have to find a balance that works for you. And for me, it works to have a home base. Whether, you know, I started in an apartment now I rent a house um, and whether I have my own home base or, you know, I, I'm, an, I'm a citizen, I'm a resident of Arizona. I have been for the last 24 years. So I have a ton of family here. All of my best friends live here. My brother's here. My mom's here. You know, I even have a grandma here. Um, I will always have a home base. So even if it's not mine, if I, for some reason lost my house and my current living situation and I called up my mom and I was like, mom, your house is now going to be my home base. She'd be like, sure, come on in. I got extra bedrooms, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I'll always have the ability to maintain a home base. And I'm very grateful for that. But, but again, I've been living here for 24 years. So I'm very established. Even if I lost all my family and all, you know, I could call up one of my besties cause they all have houses. And I'd be like, Hey, can I put some of my stuff in your garage? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. You have to do what works for you in van life. I know I have several friends who thrive full time in their vehicles. One, of course, being Maddie. He thrives in that capacity. Uh, my friend Justin, he's full time in his Ford Transit and he pulls a trailer behind and he thrives in that capacity. I like to have a home base for, for that balance. I like to be able to come home, see my mom, go to the doctor, take Winston to the vet, you know, have these established connections because that offers me the stability that I need. And it's really hard to get caught up in this sort of YouTube, social media environment where a lot of YouTubers are like, oh, you're not a real van lifer if you don't do it full time. Well, I don't want to do it full-time and I don't have to do it full-time. I can do whatever I want to do because every single person needs to do what's best for them. I see myself as a full-time van lifer that maintains a home base. I'm in my van two-thirds of the month, sometimes more than that. Right now I've been at my home base because my van's been going through the repairs. It's been really, really hot. So I've been enjoying and taking advantage of the air conditioning I have in my house, cleaning my van, cleaning my house, selling stuff. I've been taking advantage of the fact that I have a home base during this really hot season to just take care of business. I even got on my LinkedIn. I updated a bunch of stuff for my freelance writing, you know, just, just taking care of business. And I like having a home base for that. That's very important to me to know that I always have something to fall back on. I personally need that. Not everybody needs that. It's all about finding that balance. Riley makes some really good points in her video that just really got me thinking, like that it is so easy to get caught up in these expectations. Um, we get caught up in societal expectations, but also because of social media, you think that you have to do things a certain way and it's really easy to get burnt out or think that something's not working for you. When in reality, you just have to find out what that balance needs to be for you. And again, some people thrive in full-time van life. I just thrive knowing that I am able to come back to a place and get my shit together if I have to, <laughs> you know? Um, so I will always maintain a home base as much as I love van life. And even, you know, nowadays, since I travel with Maddie, I it's easier for me to be somewhere for longer periods of, of time. You know, 
seven days, two weeks. Uh, when I'm in quartzite, you know, I'm often there a majority of the month. <clears throat> and it's much easier when I have, you know, friends around and, and companionship. Um, when I am solo, I tend to move a lot more frequently. Traveling with Maddie has allowed me to slow down and keep the miles off my van and save money on fuel. But it took me, you know, two years of van life to to find somebody to do that with. So it's all an experience. It's all an experience. And I think that everyone needs to slow down. And if you're interested in van life, know that it's okay. You don't have to be in your vehicle full time. It's not all luxurious and glamorous anyways. So you're best off starting with a good balance, easing yourself into it, you know, I thought one day I might be full-time, but this is probably as full-time as I'm going to get. You know, 80% in the van, 20% at home. That's what works well for me. So in the meantime, um, like I said, I've gotten everything out of my van clean and organized. I've gotten all my work stuff and, and freelancing in order. I, um, <clears throat> I'm doing laundry right now. I've... I spent some time with my mom. I had a doctor's appointment recently, kind of getting all that taken care of. And it feels good. So when I'm, I'd like to get back into the van, maybe even today, go up north for a couple nights, um, because I can do that. You know, Flagstaff's only a couple hours from my house, which is great. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just take things one day at a time, knowing what works for me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out uh, Riley Does Life on her YouTube channel and some of the others that I mentioned. They are very, very awesome. And I will see you next time.